Now, a consideration that we have to think about here when it comes to working with VNets uh, and the subnets is routing. We've, uh, you know, we know the concept that um, subnets within a VNet, these subnets can talk to each other no problem. This is because there is just built-in routing between subnets that are inside of a VNet. Uh, and we've also learned that we can peer our VNets together. If we peer them together, then there are automatically routes that are created uh, through those peerings that allow the subnets between VNets to talk to each other. But what about a situation where you want to force traffic to go through a particular subnet, not just through a particular VNet, but through a particular subnet? For example, what if you had a subnet that was dedicated to like the Azure firewall? If you were going to set up a firewall and you wanted all traffic to have to go through that firewall uh, appliance, um, then you would need to um, set up routing to do that. Now, in order to do that, there is something called a UDR, a user-defined route. And a user-defined route is what's going to allow us to force traffic to flow through a particular subnet, okay? The first thing I want to do here, I want to go to portal.azure.com and I'm going to go to the menu button, we're going to go to resource groups, and we're going to go to um, VNet Demo RG. All right. And from there, I'm going to go to VNet 1, that's my sort of my hub VNet, and I'm going to create a new subnet. Okay. And this subnet is going to be called the, uh, the Azure Firewall subnet. Azure Firewall subnet, which if I'm going to place an Azure Firewall on there, that's generally what you're going to make sure you want to call that subnet. Okay, I'm going to call the, the subnet address is going to be 10.1. Uh, we'll say 10.0. Okay, we'll leave some, some other room if we wanted to create some more subnets before the 10. So 10.1.10.0 slash 24 is going to be that subnet. All right, uh, at that point, I am going to go ahead now and I'm going to click save and I'm creating my new little firewall subnet. Now keep in mind I'm not really explaining thoroughly about firewalls in this video I just want you to kind of have in your mind that that subnet is where my firewall appliance is going to be associated. So if I was setting up an Azure firewall that is where that is going to be uh, associated. Okay so the next thing I would want to do of course I'm going to let that that's going to have to process through but the next thing I want to do is I want to um, I'm going to go and create a user-defined route. Now, in order to create a user-defined route, I am going to add a resource called a route table. So we'll go back over to our resource group here. We're going to click Create. You can also go to the menu button and go to All Services that way. And uh, you just do a search for route table. It does help if you uh, spell it correctly. All right, and then there it is, route table. We're going to click to create the route table. And from there, we've got our resource group, which is going to be VNet Demo RG, and then the region, which in my case uh, is going to be East US, and then the name of the route table. Okay, so I'm just going to name this route table demo, and then to propagate gateway route. So what does that mean? That means that I'm going to use this thing called a gateway, which would allow uh, traffic to flow back to an on-premise network. If I plan to allow that uh, on this routing table, I can say yes to that, or I can say no to that. I am going to say yes to that because maybe I do plan to allow traffic to propagate uh, from Azure to an on-premise network or vice versa. So from there, we'll click review and create. It's going to go through the validation, and then we're going to click to create. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let that run through. Now that that's complete, I'm going to go to the menu button, go to resource groups, and we'll go to our resource group, VNet Demo RG. And then there is our route table demo. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. All right, and we're going to go to routes. We're going to add a route. This is a UDR, a user-defined route. Okay, the route name is gonna we're gonna say we're gonna say through firewall. Okay. Notice we can't have a space. So we'll do that. Okay, through firewall. Okay, what kind of destination? We're gonna do an IP address, and then the destination range of addresses would be the 10.1.10.0. 
10.0/24 network, okay, which is going to be our uh, subnet that our firewall is associated with. And then what's the next hop going to be? So you have different. Um, the next hop is going to be the next location that you want traffic to flow through. All right. So network gateway that gets to on premise. I could specify a whole virtual network, the internet, or a virtual appliance, or none. I'm going to do a virtual appliance because a Azure firewall is a virtual appliance. So we'll say 10.1.10. And we have not actually set up an Azure firewall yet. But if we went through the process of setting up the Azure Firewall, let's say that we're going to pretend like we have assigned the address 10.1.10.10 to that Azure Firewall. Okay, so that is going to be um, our, uh, our setup there. So we're going to go ahead and click Add to that. Okay, and now what we can do is we can assign subnets to this. So we'll go over here to subnets, we'll click associate, and we'll say, all right, we'll say we'll do, you know, VNet1, we'll go ahead and we can associate subnet A, click save route, save route uh, table, we'll go ahead and associate. Uh, one thing I'm not a fan of here is I really wish that it would let me um, associate these things a little quicker instead of having to do like one at a time, it'd be great to have checkboxes here, but this is also something that's constantly changing week after week after week, so who knows, um, they might have added it. Um, you know, you just gotta be on the lookout for it. But as you can see, I'm just adding my different uh, subnets that I want to have to abide by this routing table, okay? Okay, so it's already been added, it just hadn't, there it goes. So we'll do to be. So again, we are forcing these subnets. They're going to have to flow through this Azure firewall when they want to communicate with things. And granted, I haven't set the Azure firewall up yet, but um, if I once I do set the Azure firewall up, that would be how that would all be laid out, right? All right, and we'll do four. There we have it. We've now associated our subnets and that is how you can set up a route table and have user-defined routes. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.